Ooh, ood, ood, ood. You guys know I love Rose Amber Ood. This baby right here, Yves Saint Laurent M7, back from the day when Tom Ford was there. The original M7 compared to M7 Absolute. How do these compare? If you like this kind of video, cool, go ahead and subscribe. Drop that like down below. Shout out to the CIA guys, Rose, Amber, and of course, Oud. You know I love Oud. One of my favorite fragrance notes out there. And M7 by Yves Saint Laurent started the Western Oud craze. Thank you, Tom Ford. This came out, I want to say, in 2007, 2009. Whenever it did, guys, it started a craze. This is a masterpiece by almost anybody's by almost anybody's estimation. You can look on the back and see it's one of the original four ingredient bottles, even though I had to put an unusual M7 cap on top of it. You do what you can do when you get this fragrance, if you can get it because it's so ridiculously overpriced now. What about M7 Absolute, the one that's still on the market? You can go to the Yves Saint Laurent site right now and get it. How does it compare? Mandarin Oud Patchouli and Myrrh. I will tell you right off the top, instead of the bur this has Mandarin, this has Bergamot. And over here we got bergamot, oud, vetiver, and amber. A lot of people talk about this as like a cherry kind of coke vibe in it, and then it's kind of smooth, sexy, woody oud. This one doesn't have that cherry coke vibe, but it still has that oud in it. And I will tell you, head to head, both of these fragrances. Shout out to the CIA. Guys, if you want to become part of the movement, do me a favor, join us on Patreon for exclusive video and live stream content that will only be visible there. Details down in the description. I will tell you head to head as far as the C3PO system, both of these things are compliment monsters in my opinion. This one lasts about four to six hours on my skin. This one lasts about four to six hours on my skin. This projects about two to three feet. This projects about two to three feet. This has a CI, they both have a CI trail of about two to three feet. Neither one of these fragrances are beast modes, the other parfum, I mean, this one's getting older. So what do you expect? The style personality I see pulling this off, these are both definitely boss level fragrances. These are oud fragrances for guys who are in charge, in control. And where I can see, and, and the place I can see you wearing them, they're both signature scent worthy. Now the question is, can you get enough of these to wear for a signature scent? No, but you can definitely get enough of these to wear for a signature scent. Now how do they compare as far as head to head? Gotta give the edge to the original M7, but just by a little bit, because in a head-to-head -head comparison, when I actually had an A-B test, most people pick this 60% of the time, 6-4 split, which is pretty daggum good considering this right here will cost you around about mm, 90 bucks, and this will cost you two, 250, if not more. And it's next to impossible to get, so you gotta do a bunch of different crazy things. You can just go online and order this to your heart's delight. The problem is most of you guys have never put your nose on it because they don't put it in stores today. It's just online, so trust your godfather. If you like a nice, wear, if you want a nice wearable designer oud and you already have Gucci Intense oud, guys, get this one. This is one of the most wearable designer ouds out there, and so many people just simply don't wear it because it's not in the store. It's not in the store, so you could actually have a designer oud that you can wear all year round and nobody would smell like you. Do me a favor, hit us up in the comment section. What do you think about M7 Oud Absolute versus the original M7? Again, gotta factor in the fact that this is gonna cost you twice as much, if not more, if you can find it. I know I dig them both, but inquiring minds would like to know. If you like this video, go ahead and share it out to somebody that you think can use the information. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, talk to you later. Godfather, out. <laughs>